If you have a Magento website that's low on traffic, you are going to want to pay close attention to this video. Because today I'm going to teach you a guaranteed way to increase your Magento website's traffic. I'm also going to show you real results I've gotten from this method from a real client's Magento website and break this strategy down step by step. So guys, before we jump in, I want to just show you that these are real results. There's no faked nonsense here. This is all 100% real. You can see when I move this along here that this isn't faked. I wouldn't be able to change this. I can turn this stuff off and on. And if I refresh the page, we'll get the exact same thing come up. Um, this is one of the pages that I built. Um, I'm going to teach you the exact method of. Here's another one right here. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. So on, so forth. These are all pages that I have built that did not exist before. Uh, as you can see, they all sort of started around the same sort of time and get ind got indexed around the same sort of time and then started picking up traffic. And this is going to bring traffic in um, for many years to come unless there's a, a major algorithmic change. But uh, I highly doubt it um, for a few reasons. So what this is called is this is, well, I don't know the real name for this, but I call this a filtered category page. And I noticed that a lot of the big guys are doing this. You get... Um, here where I am in the UK, there's a lot of people like Argos, um, Appliances Direct, a lot of the main people do this. And that's where I learned it from, was just sort of breaking down the strategies that the top e-commerce sellers um, use and then figuring out how to apply that to a Magento website. Um, and it's actually a lot easier than you would imagine. So these filtered category pages, what they are is you're, you're taking your category. So let's say washing machines, for example, and then you're filtering that category by a certain attribute. So that attribute may be that it's an eight kilogram washing washing machine. Yeah, so it's got a load of eight kilogram or it might be that it's energy efficient. It might be that it's a plus. Um, there's so, so many of these you can find. And I'm actually going to show you how you can find them free as well. Um, and how I wouldn't necessarily do it that way myself because I have a paid tool, but it's very expensive. Um, but basically, yeah, it's about creating out these landing pages that are targeting specific keywords uh, that people are typing into the Google search engine. And the reason it works so well, and the reason I don't think this will stop working for a long time, is because when you create a page for quiet washing machines, you are meeting the searcher's intent to a T. Because if you're only pulling in quiet washing machines on that page, anybody who hits that page is going to know instantly that they don't have to look around and try and figure out and decipher from the whole category page of washing machines, which one is the quietest or have to get on the phone and, and lower the conversion rates or anything like that based on making people want need to do too much. Um, they know exactly straight away, okay, all of these are on this page because they are because they are quiet. The other thing that's great about this is that your on-page SEO is going to be a hell of a lot stronger um, for the specific keyword than a broad page would. Because even if a, a page that's targeting... Um, you know, cheap washing machine deals, so you get the cheap and deals modifiers between the washing machine there, and they mention on there something to do with your keyword, like, you know, eight kilogram washing machines, they put that in a H2 or a H3, or they have that content, or they have links with that anchor text, your page is still going to be more relevant because it is just targeting that. So as long as you've got your on-site SEO correctly implemented, you will appear to be a more relevant result in Google. Now, there are so many people out there that are saying this SEO trick will do this and this thing will explode your traffic. And when you implement them, they do absolutely nothing. And that's why I want to show you the results right here, guys, of actually following my advice, what it will get you. So it will depend on your industry. If there aren't many people searching for whatever it is you sell, then you aren't going to get a load of traffic. This client, there was people there. Um, there was actually a lot more people than the uh, the, the keyword tools predicted. Um Hence why my client is now very, very happy with my service. Um, but, you know, you can see right here, 1.36K in the last six months. And this page hasn't even been live for the past six months, guys. And you can see right here, look, it's still shooting up. So this is only going to, this. it may, let's say it's peaked here. And I don't think it has. I think I'm going to continue to move up because some of these keywords, I'm, I'm, Google's still testing me out for and I will get higher for Um we're going to just go up. This is going to be way higher than this. You know, it, it really is. So when I'm talking on page, let me just explain what I mean by that. If you don't know, I'm talking about the URL. So keyword in your URL. I'm talking about H1 tag. So keyword in your H1 tag. I'm talking about keyword in your title tag and then some content that supports it with LSI keywords in there. Um, and also, you know, internally linked from other pages or if you can, and this one actually isn't, but um, if you can, in, you know, add it to the main menu as well. 
this is when you really start getting more traffic coming in. So a quick example of this, guys, that I actually recently used myself. Um, I needed to get a phone that took a micro SIM uh, very quickly. And um, I done a search for micro SIM phone, just as you can see right here. When I scrolled down, the first actual result, uh, the first actual web page listing that wasn't one of these rich ones, um, is right here, Argos. And they've got a page here called micro SIM SIM free phones. When you go through to this page, you're going to see how they've done exactly what I've just described. They've built out a landing page that pulls in every single phone on their website that takes a micro SIM. Um, onto here and that they you know i could outrank these guys for this i, I don't have a client that that would need to at the minute but if i did i'd be able to outrank these guys most likely because i could make a more relevant page but still what they have done and the reason why this does so well when i keep talking about intent is it is one of the biggest things is the intent behind a search and this page right here meets the intent perfectly because if you go on any of these phones right here and i've gone through all of these um just a few days ago when i was actually looking for one of these Every single one of these, when you read, it says it takes a micro um, SIM SIM card. So if you can see somebody like Argos doing this and you can look in Ahrefs and all different SEO tools and see they're getting a hell of a lot of traffic for it, that's when you need to start thinking, OK, I need to start doing the same thing. So that's exactly what I've been doing um, for the last I don't know, three, four years for, for my e-commerce clients in Magento, Joomla, Shopware. WordPress, whatever e-commerce platform it is, this works as long as you can create a page just like this one back here that filters based on a attribute and you can create a unique URL with, you know, unique title tag, unique content, uh, unique H1, all of that, all of those on page factors that is, you know, bread and butter to, to an SEO, the things that we do every day that's, that's just standard. If you can do those, you can rank for them. Another great example of this strategy is this term right here, which I mentioned earlier, 8kg washing machine. This is one I actually have um, a client of mine that ranks for this. So I'm not going to show you which one it is. But if you look straight away, you can see AOR advertising on this term. You can usually see a term is worth money if people are advertising on it. AO wouldn't be advertising on 8kg washing machine if it didn't bring them in sales. And that's not the only way of telling whether or not a keyword is qualified, but it's a very, very good indication. As we come down straight away, who have we got again? We've got Argos because they're great at this stuff. Then we've got Appliances Direct, and these guys have been doing this for years. Um, as I say, I, I look at these guys quite a lot. When you go through here, if you notice down here, Curry's ranking below them. Curry's will get way more branded search than Appliances Direct, but Appliances Direct are ranking above them. Why? Because they've got 8kg washing machines in the URL, the H1, 8kg washing machines. They've got internally linked to these other long tail phrases, 1,400 RPM, silver, white. If you go through to these pages, you can see down the bottom here, white washing machine. This 8kg white washing machine. They've gone that far down. 8kg black washing machine. Um, we got right here, we've got Hoover, Hoover, 8kg washing machines. These pages are all unique. If I open this out, you'll be able to see. Um, right here, they've built out a landing page, a filtered category page. Um, just for 8kg Hoover washing machines right here uh, we've got the title now oftentimes on these when you scroll down to the bottom another thing these guys um, usually but they haven't on this page what they usually do a good job of is they usually have a load of unique content uh, as well on there which again just creates that more relevancy um, and, and just adding in those LSI's you can rank uh, higher with this these these guys are so good at this because of their internal linking all the backlinks they've got and the way that they break down to the keywords and obviously traffic being a ranking factor. The more of these you've got, the more traffic you'll get to your other ones, if you see what I mean. It sounds a bit weird, but that's the way that it works. So now that you understand the strategy, you understand how to implement it and you can see the real results on the screen right now. How do you actually find these keyword opportunities to make sure that you don't spend a bunch of time creating out landing pages for things nobody searches for? Well, the first way you can do it is you can go into Google and you can take your biggest competitor's website, copy it, and do a search for, if you go onto Google, you can do a search for site, colon, and then paste in the URL. That's going to bring back every page that Google has indexed for that particular website. So we can see Appliances Direct right here have Melee uh, landing page. They've got a clearance page. So that's obviously a great page to build out because they drive a lot of sales. Any sort of sales clearance pages do. Um, even if the sale ain't that good, people like to think they're getting, you know, a good deal. They've got Samsung. The further through these you get, the more long tail sort of you're gonna you're gonna find. But 
what I would say is go through each one of these, and I know it's boring, but I actually enjoy this stuff. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. But go through all of these pages, and you'll very, very quickly start to see the pages that they've built out. Um, cheap black fridge deals. There we go. So that's a long tail keyword right there. Um, now, just because somebody else has done it doesn't always mean it's a good idea to do it. But it is a good indication when you can see a company as big as this have done it if you don't have a paid tool. So I might not necessarily go down this route every time. I will sometimes to see what pages other you know competitors have got. But I will usually use a tool called Ahrefs. And with that tool, I can see the pages that are getting them the most traffic. Uh, and then I can build those out and you can guarantee that for the clients I have that are in the same industry as these guys, I, I have done that a long, long time ago and, and I continue to drive more traffic to them. So just to give you a quick explanation when I keep mentioning Ahrefs, if you was to actually, you know, invest in this tool, um, you'd be able to put into the Site Explorer right here your competitor's website and see the main keywords that they're getting traffic from as well as the main pages they're getting traffic from. So if we go in on here and we go into organic keywords, it usually takes a little while to load, but once it does load up, um, we'll see their main keywords that they're getting traffic for. Um, and I know straight away they're going to get branded. As you can see, branded is their main one. They're getting a lot of traffic for that. As we come down, they've got a lot of these sort of, you know, short tail keywords that are very difficult, especially if you're not sort of a leader in the industry right now. Um, you know, it's difficult to rank for those ones. Although I have done in a different industry, I have ranked for uh, a keyword as, as broad as, as like you know tumble dry i have i have actually done that um much to my client's surprise um but you know we go down here and now we're seeing here we go 32 inch smart tv so 31,000 searches per month keyword difficulty of around 19 which i think is it's, that's achievable however i would probably say it's a little bit harder than that um and on average people are paying around 40 pence per click um but for this word, just double checking, I'm on, uh, I'm in the UK here. Uh, yeah, I'm in the UK. So people are paying for ads on this term, not paying a lot. And the reason they're not paying too much for it is because the profit margins on a 32 inch TV are a lot lower uh, than they are on a, on a larger model. I know that because uh, 32 is the smallest that one of my clients actually sells. So, um, and they don't really, you know, they, they don't really want me to invest my time into this when I could be putting it into selling, you know, the, the curved screen TVs or whatever it is. So, but these guys have built this landing page out. They're getting a lot of traffic for this 4,307 uh, clicks per month. And it's all going through to this page. And as we looked at in, a, in, in the earlier part of this video, when we go through, they got all their on page stuff is just perfect. Um, you know, 30 in the URL up here, just while this loads, we've got 32 inch TVs, um, you know, inside the TV and home entertainment category. Um, this is taking forever to load. I'm working from home because we've got the whole self-isolation thing as I'm filming this video. Um, but I'll come back to this in a minute. But as we go back through, you can see, um, you know, there's more keywords here. 32 inch TV again comes up. Cook the hood. It's not really long tail, but we'll find some. So smart TV. Uh, here we go. 65 inch TV. This is one I've optimized for in the past. Um, again, very, very, very competitive. Although Ahref says it isn't, it is. Um, I have actually managed to get some rankings with a client for this one. Um, we go down 55 inch TV. So these guys, do, they've got a lot of decent rankings when it comes to the TVs. Um, but, you know, you could just go through here and see a whole list of different ones they've got. It's not just going to be that. They've got a sow here, fridge, freezer, sow, as I said earlier. Those When you rank for those terms, they definitely bring in, in traffic. And I actually run paid ads on those, um, even though you may think the conversion rate would be lower because people are looking for cheap and sell and deals what people are actually looking for when they type that in is they're looking for a price because they're ready to buy and that's why they're typing in cheap price deals that's not an information keyword that's a buyer's keyword if you see what i'm saying um but they'll have a bunch of them in here now just you know because this company have done it that don't mean these are the only ones that are good because they certainly aren't another way you can use this tool is if you go into the keyword explorer um, you can actually do a phrase match of washing machine, for example, and bring back every everything that people are typing in to do with washing machine. Uh, I'll just show you that one quickly. Washing machine. If we go over to phrase match, and if we actually order this one by cost per click, as I mentioned earlier about you know cost per click being a good indication of a, a keyword being worth some money. Um, if we order by cost per click here, we should start to see some pretty good 
pretty good keywords. We'll probably get some repair ones coming quite high because people pay a lot for those. Um, I run Google Ads for a client for, for, for appliance repairs and we don't actually pay as much as we're in a, a little bit more of a rural area. So we're paying about sort of two, two to two pound fifty a click. Um, but as we go right here, how to replace washing machine bearings. Uh, so a lot, here we go. Faulty washing machine, washing machine repair, Denver. Am I, um, no, I'm on UK. Um, washing machine repair, Richmond, Pakistan prices. You got to ignore this sort of stuff. Um, how to reset commercial washing machine rental. I've actually also got a client that does this, uh, and I actually rank for that keyword, which is quite cool when you see how much money people are paying for ads on it. Um, as we go down, so here we go, 14 kg commercial washing machine, another one uh, with the commercial intent. Uh, let's keep going down. Another repairs, another rental leasing, another leasing, uh, another repairs, noisy dream washing machine, another repair. So lots and lots of uh, repairs on here at the minute. We just got to keep going through. You really got to stick with these sometimes, and I'd usually export these out so I can have a little look through the data properly. And I don't want to spend too much time on this at the minute because I, I know that we want to jump back into some of the other stuff that you can do for free. Um, buy industrial washing machine. Obviously, if it's got buy by it, then definitely run ads on that. Um, Bosch washing machine won't drain as we go down. I just want to find some examples here, uh, of some really good keywords that people are running ad uh, that that people are running ads on. So we've got finance right here. So this would be a filtered category page. You could actually just pull in all the washing machines that are over the finance limit. So if you don't do finance on anything under £300 or whatever it is, um, you could pull in all the ones that have a price of over £300, pull them in, washing machines on finance, and then you could write out some content about how the finance works to support the content. Um, and that would be a really good page right there. Um, not much traffic, but the traffic would be good. If you can sell you know, nationally, um, you know, 150 people searching, 197 clicks, that means that people are clicking on more than one page quite often, um, not everybody, but quite often, um, you know, you'll, you'll get some decent traffic from that, some decent sales. And also bear in mind that these terms right here, these are, um, these are estimates. This isn't exact. This isn't search console level data. This is just estimates, um, you know, using clickstream data, I believe. Um, another one here, buy a washing machine on finance. I wouldn't create another page for that. I'd include that as a, you know, H2 or include it in the title and the H1 potentially. Um, that's a really good keyword. Um, best warranty. I mean, that's not a bad keyword. We've got coin operated. This is again commercial. So a lot of people are spending a lot of money on commercial keywords and, uh, and not really doing the SEO so much, which is good for me because uh, my client doesn't like doing paid traffic too much uh, at the moment. I'm slowly converting him over as he's starting to see conversion tracking working. Um, but at the moment, he's not that keen on it um, based on previous agencies he's worked to worked with. Um, repair so look you know i could literally spend all day going through this but this is how you, because a lot of this is filled with repairs and commercial um we're not seeing some such great results but you could you could literally look through this and i would i would export this whole thing out go through it in a spreadsheet go through on, on google sheets and just find the right ones that are worth doing and then highlight them out and then know okay i've got to build a page on that i've got to build a page on that i've got to build a page on that um you'll actually find them um the other thing um that you can do with this is think about it yourself and then just check it so you know i keep talking about 8kg washing machine if we put in here 8kg washing machine um you know i had the idea i checked it and when i saw it was worth doing then i went ahead and done it so i could see right here 8kg washing machine keyword difficulty of five as i say take this stuff with a pinch of salt but five so it ahrefs at least thinks it's doable based on the amount of links the other pages have that are ranking for it um, 1,400 ser searches in Google and 1,500 odd clicks, which means that people are, you know, searching and clicking and sometimes clicking on more than one result. Then we come down, Bco 8kg washing machine, zero difficulty, 700 searches, 599. <clears throat> so some people ain't clicking on that one. It, it's it's saying it's estimating. You know, we got a whole bunch of keywords right here just by 
um, you know, literally just by putting that term in. Just think about the attributes you've got and what the sort of things it is that people like. Um, I've got a client that sells air guns. Um, so I was going through brainstorming out what the people want. I went through every single term with air guns and that's why, um, you know, he's doing so well right now. Um, but you know, you've got people, you think you got left-handed people, they'll want air rifles. So can we build out a filter on that one? We've done exactly that. That was in the Magento site as well. Um, incidentally, <clears throat> um, you know, you've got different designs people like that you know the camouflage ones we got a page on that all kinds of stuff and, and his traffic right now is just shot up and up and up now if you don't have ahrefs and you want to use a free tool to get started out you can go ahead and use this uh free tool that neil patel's actually created for us called uber suggest if you just google uber suggest uh it'll come up at the top and inside here you can do a number of things um i I love this tool and I do actually use it. I don't personally think it's as good as Ahrefs, hence why I pay so much money for um, Ahrefs. But for a free tool, this is absolutely amazing. And I wish this existed, you know, back when I first started out because this would have made me learn so much faster uh, and not spend so much time on the wrong things. Um, this is a really great tool. If you put in your main keyword washing machine, you'll be able to come down here and see um, a list of different keywords that it will bring you back and it will give you some again some rough estimates on the volume and the cost per click and all this sort of stuff um again you've got to take it with a pinch of salt but use it as an indication that okay this tool's picking up there's a lot of traffic on it um because i would say about 90 percent of the time it will be in a sort of in the ballpark sort of area um again another slow loading page this is very much my internet uh causing this uh at the minute but um you know Another thing you can do with this tool, I was trying to get out all the different, oh, we go, we got the ideas. So you can scroll down here, just like we were doing in Ahrefs, and you can see washing machine sale, great keyword. I run ads on that. I run YouTube ads on that. If people are searching that, I'll do all sorts on that one, because that is a absolutely brilliant keyword. Um, you know, it wants you to sign in to get some of this data here. But, you know, you can find some stuff in this. Uh, and then also, if you wanted to check a specific keyword like we did earlier, and this is where you'll start to see that the, the, the tools often differ in their um, in their results as to what they say a keyword does. Um, if we put this in and wait for it, uh, we'll get some stats back on this as well in this completely free tool. Um, you just got to bear with it a little while here, guys. Okay, and here we go. So this is saying that it gets around 2,900 searches a month. Uh, average cost per click of 50 pence um, and you know we got a breakdown again hot point here samsung black lg so we got some more ideas right here all of these right here um, i would say you know they are good filtered category pages to build out because they get traffic um, so it's worth building them out and then the other thing is and this is where this really is a win-win uh, concept these filtered category pages is you can create these pages for SEO traffic and run ads to them because of the exact same reason. The intent is perfect. Anybody searching for 8kg washing machine, send them to a page that just pulls in 8kg washing machines. You know, run ads on, you know, phrase match, um, 8kg washing machine um, or exact match if it's a bit more of a broadly searched thing. You know, if you're going to do phrase, get rid of repairs get rid of commercial or, or whatever you wouldn't get commercial on AKG but you know get rid of all the other stuff um, out there rental things like that that you don't want um, but if you want to run exact you know what I mean if there's searches there um, these pages perform great and I do this I do this a lot um, and it's especially useful I tell you it's especially useful um, when you have things that happen um, and you can respond very quickly so a good example is we had um, one of my clients was selling those Dyson fans that cool the air and all this stuff. We had a really, really strong heat wave um, last year, I believe, or the year before in England. And um, it was crazy, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, 35 degrees. And, and you know, if, you, if you're in the States, you're probably going to think, you know, that's, that, well, that really ain't nothing. But for, for us, we were we was just freaking out. It was crazy. Um, and people were searching fans, fans, fans. Now, my client had a bunch of these fans in store. I already had a landing page built out for these Dyson fans. I sent them straight to it, um, and they sold out very, very quickly. Put it that way. And I, I was noticing all the, you know, I was tracking calls, phone calls through Google Ads. 
Um, but the thing is, I wouldn't have been able to respond so quickly had I not built the page out before. So it really is a case of you get these pages out there, um, you know, you get them in place and then you can run ads to them and build up their traffic. Just like you can see with this page right here, that's, you know, 1.36K, um, the traffic's building up over time. That's not going nowhere, you know, and this is going to serve my client for many years to come. Um, so just a great, great strategy. Listen, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you thought to this strategy. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos like this. Um, this is a great strategy, guys. Just try it out. You will not regret it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.